Hundreds of thousands of Yemenis have marched for freedom in all corners of the country this year, eventually forcing President Ali Abdullah Saleh to agree to step down. But the process he agreed to calls for an end to the demonstrations and sit-ins. That is something Nobel Peace Prize winner Tawakal Karman says will not happen. Of course not. People they will continue their uh, peaceful revolution until they reach all their uh, demands and goals. The transition plan would put Mr. Saleh's vice president into power. Karman calls it undemocratic, corrupt, and contrary to everything the revolutionaries have been protesting, fighting, and dying for. We will stay in the in the squares until we reach to the uh, new country, democracy country, and uh, modern country. It has been a long road for Tawakal Karman, six years of writing and protesting, and the past year living in a tent on Sana'a's main square. Now that foreign leaders are listening to what she says, she wants them to freeze the assets of the Saleh regime and prosecute the president at the International Court of Justice. I trust them and uh, I believe that they will, they will act now. If they will not, they choose the wrong way because we will achieve, we will succeed and we will not go back. We will not go back. We choose the way of freedom and dignity and democracy country and we will reach to this point. Karman says Western leaders are wrong if they think a popular Yemeni government would hurt their efforts to fight al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups operating in the country. Ali Saleh and his regime, the only, that they are the environment the, uh, of, uh, of terrorists and of al-Qaeda. We know that uh, dictatorship means al-Qaeda and we know also that we are the only one who interest and who will dry al-Qaeda and its uh, resources. The, we are the future and we believe that uh, we have the uh, uh, responsibility to do that. She says the youth in the Middle East are learning that peaceful protest is the best way to achieve their goals, not terrorism. At 32 years old, the journalist and mother of three is the youngest person to win the Nobel Peace Prize. What is it inside of you that makes you do this though? The crisis around us, the crisis, our country collapsed around us. There was a question, how can we save our country? And how can we part of the solution, not problem? The Nobel Committee says it gave Tawakal Karman the Peace Prize for her nonviolent struggle, particularly on behalf of women. She says that struggle will continue. Al Pesson, VOA News, London.